Hey guys, what's up? By uh, Seth to try and hear from One Hive Gazette here with the next video, and this one is going to be on the stoned hobo uh, hog attack and uh, some a look at some attacks and kind of how it's being used exactly at this point in the game. I'm gonna have lots of uh, other stuff covering attack strategies, such as an attack meta. Uh, which is basically, if you guys don't know, where I talk about all the popular strategies at Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11. That'll be coming out very soon, so look for that. But right now, um, I kind of am going to work with what I have. And a lot of these replays are on bases that are not exactly anti three star bases, but they're common bases. We see them a lot. Uh, they're well upgraded. They have max defenses for the most part. And they can be, you know, almost as difficult to three star, if not a little more difficult to three star, than an anti three star base if you're not, uh, if you don't identify. Identify what type of base it is and if you use the wrong strategy on it now sometimes these bases uh, can kind of screw you over if you use uh, like an air attack but what I found um, just by watching replays and stuff is that the stoned hobo attack works well for these kind of quote-unquote internet or anti two-star type bases there aren't that bad in design they just don't have some of the features of an anti three-star base but they can be kind of deceptive in that certain strategies don't work as well on them but we'll take a look at um, a few different bases, which are about similar to this in terms of the layout and the defensive level. And we'll kind of talk about um, why this strategy works well on these bases and kind of how it's being used. So our first example is Ana. Um, he's coming in here with uh, a few golems going down, uh, some wizards to back it up. His wizards aren't upgraded yet. You can actually get them to level 6 at Town Hall 9 now. Uh, but has those golems tanking, uh, wall breakers in right there. And one thing you'll notice is he brings the jump spell. And that's something we're going to talk about throughout the video, is whether or not to bring the jump spell uh, for certain bases. And I w this is a good decision to bring it for a few reasons. Uh, he has the high level heroes plus the bowlers. So that's quite a hefty kill squad. Um, you want to invest your spells where your uh, troop space is. And uh, in this case, you can see it's definitely worth the jump spell. He doesn't need more than two heals for his hogs. Um, everything's making its way on in. The jump spell also lets the bowlers access uh, some of the defenses beyond the core on the other side of the base. So the queen, the bowlers are already targeting uh, defenses as the hogs kind of make their way in. And he'll have that last heal spell for another giant bomb area. It uh, looks like he actually got three giant bombs there, if I see that correctly. Uh, with his kill squad, so I'm not sure if this was a cleanup or not. I didn't check, I don't think. But either way, with some great value there. Um, well, that, that explosion must have been something else, because two more giant bombs just went off. So I'm not actually sure what happened at the beginning, but either way, worked out very nicely. And you can be a little more, uh, a little more outgoing, or not outgoing, a little more... Uh, daring with your hogs as far as uh, kind of how you deploy them now that the double giant bomb sets won't fully kill one if there's a wizard tower if there's a few small bombs they probably will die if they're not like under a heal at exact full health but um it's not quite as devastating if you hit a double giant bomb set especially if they kind of trigger one at a time to a certain extent so you can be a little more bold with your hogs in as far as the deployment goes uh this base this guy kind of threw his bomb tower on the outside so not nearly as good of a base as the last one um kind of just threw that bomb tower in i guess he already had the base made so didn't make many changes but still you know a decent type of base and it also illustrates another point i want to talk about which is why he didn't bring the jump spell here uh which is something that i think is a good decision and you'll see for a few reasons he does have the level 30 heroes uh, that is true which typically means you want to invest more uh tr more spells because you have uh, higher level heroes and you want to get them deeper in the base but also if you look at the base there's not really any good spots for giant bombs uh, i guess by the next to those archer towers it's possible but besides that there's just really not many good spots and what he's thinking is he can bring more hogs and more heals and that it will allow him to kind of just use the hogs more and let them have a bigger role in this attack. The jump isn't necessary uh, because the hogs are biting off a bigger piece of the base. And as I kind of hinted at earlier, invest your spells where your troop space is. If you're only bringing 12 hogs, don't bring three heals. One, um, possibly two, depending on the base. But usually one or two heals is fine if you have a small number of hogs. When you bring more hogs, invest the, uh, you know more heal spells. You want to keep that kind of a balance in a way to where you're investing... Uh, 
spells proportional to how you're investing your troops. So anyway, you can see I uh, cleaned up the space pretty easily, took out all the defenses, we'll fast forward, and uh, nice attack. Really, the mass hog hasn't been quite as powerful as people thought it would be. We're still seeing some golem kill squads. Uh, the only difference is that you now have level 6 wizards, uh, which I think the next attacker does have, or this attacker did. I think Ali, uh, he did have level 6 wizards. You have a little bit more powerful wizards for funneling, and now the hogs don't take the extra damage um, from the uh, giant bombs, which isn't that powerful for a stoned hobo attack when your kill squad is di disabling lo a lot of the giant bombs, but it protects them a little bit from single bombs and any kind of makeshift double giant bomb sets towards the outside of the base that they could run into. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier. You don't have to invest quite as many heals in them also if you don't want to because they won't get as low when they hit those giant bombs. So anyway, last attack for today. This one is... Uh, Ali once again and bringing quite a few wizards which I think is a smart thing to do you can get some defenses taken out uh, which can help kind of funnel things in especially the bowlers you need that second layer of funneling for your bowlers um, that I always talk about and refer back to my how to funnel bowler video uh, a while back but anyway comes into the base here that jump is definitely necessary because wall breakers would barely open up the base at all he needs to get into that next layer of the base uh, kind of by where that air sweeper just went down, where the Tesla and the clan castle is. That'll give him much uh, greater access to the rest of the space. His troops can kind of walk their way in. Um, starting in with a few hogs on either side of the base. Pretty good deployment. Um, they don't have to all be coming from one side. He's kind of just spreading them out. The only thing is, it's hard to tell where to heal. But I guess when they clump up, like you can see on the right side, that's when you want to drop your heal. And he even gets his kill squad in the heal as well, which uh, is just added benefit. But yeah, when the hogs clump up, that's when you want to heal. Also, if there's any you know groups of more of like five, six hogs that go over a giant bomb, that's another good place to heal, even if it's even if it's not the biggest group, um, if they are taking a lot of damage from giant bombs or other stuff, that's a good place to heal as well. So anyway, took out this base pretty easily, and this is a pretty common base too, I think, so uh, in case you're wondering how to take that out. But yeah, I hope you guys learned some stuff from this video. Definitely, if you face these kind of anti-two-star bases a lot, um, this should be helpful to you guys, but also to people in, you know, very high-level clan wars, uh, the CWL wars that, I, that our clan's in, you can still learn some principles from these attacks, uh, just the basic deployment, uh, kind of what to what to expect from your kill squad, all that good stuff, when to bring a jump spell. So yeah, hope you learned something, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.